What's up guys? My name is Froshi, a professional coach for Wildcard in the NAL, and today we're going to be giving some tips and tricks on how to play Solus. We should probably just get straight into it uh, with the loadout and what we should be going with. So the interesting, uh, interesting thing with Solus is that she has the option of the P90 or the Spanish shotgun that Mira and Jack will both have. Now normally I would say never touch the shotgun because it's going to limit you, um, especially on an operator like this. It's not like you're playing smoke or mute. But there is a bit of a difference with Solus because her only option for a secondary weapon is the SMG-11. So you can run the shotgun if you want, if maybe if no one on your team is bringing a shotgun and you need someone for rotates, or you spend on uh, spending the whole round under a site or, or making bird, maybe you're on like border or chalet or, or, or uh, cafe. Um, and the shotgun can be useful in some situations for sure. But still, most of the time, we want to be running the p 90 now i do run flash hider on it sites are very much preference flash hider i think it's the best but you can run again you can just test anything you want i just wouldn't use anything like a center barrel or suppressor probably just stick to flash hider compensator um, but i do think flash hider is the best smg 11 is the only option we have uh so there is no choice to be made there and you should always be picking impact grenades unless you have a plethora of impact grenades but even then i would still take them on solos i would ask someone else in your team to not take them because uh, you're going to be roaming a lot of time on this operator and with her gadgets and back grenades pair really well. So I would be taking the impact grenades with Solus. So with our first tip here, we're going to be discussing essentially how we should be starting rounds as Solus, what we should be doing in the early round. So the big thing with Solus, if you don't understand the main thing with her gadget, is she can see electronics uh, through walls and she can identify them. So this includes like drones, thermite charges, uh, the phones attackers use, nomad charges, claymores, literally anything that has a battery she's going to be able to uh, detect. So like the only thing she won't be able to detect is like gridlocks is what comes to my mind and things like that. Um, but the big thing with Solus is, you know, she's kind of like an IQ on defense. It should be really useful. And the drone part of what I said is probably the biggest part of her kit that she can really hunt down drones really well identify where attackers are droning or where they're placing their flank cams and things like that please understand drones are the best gadget in the game point blank period and every attacker gets two of them the drone game is very very important to understand and if you can take down some of that drone economy on the other side which you can do really well with solace that's going to be great um especially with um, her gadget and in the prep phase what we want to be doing is keeping our setup really short So the max we want to do is reinforce like one or two walls I would really try to stick to one But if you're solo queuing and no one on your team is reinforcing any walls at all, then you might want to help out there We want to get straight to drone hunting for the most part We want to get straight to where are we gonna roam and how are we gonna do it? And can we get any drones along the way? So if I want to roam and reading I'm just gonna be running around looking for these drones if I see a drone I'm gonna hunt it down right because that's our main priority here number one priority is get these drones down as quickly as possible hunt these drones and from that point on um we can kind of get ready for our roam and then the other part of how we're going to play the early round sort of after the prep phase after the first 45 seconds we really want to read where the attack is going and what we want to do the thing is with Solus, right and this is why you see people like if you watch pro league why you would see like canadian play Solus a lot because canadian can read the game really well you can read a game and what the attackers want to do off of people's drones and where they're droning so if i am roaming and my team is defending cocktail and i see two three drones or cameras outside of this snow balcony i can be like okay guys they're gonna try and execute cocktail or maybe i see like one guy you know here or outside a snow balcony, maybe I see someone by garage, and maybe I see someone by the white window and things like that. Um, I can really make that call and sort of move off of that. I can try and get again get more drone, get more drones killed, as well as make my rotations. Do I need to fall off? Do I need my other roamers to fall off? Am I roaming with a duo? Do I need some of my duo? Hey, go support the site while I sit here and wait to flank or something. So it's really important as solus user. Um, you know the opportunity in the early round to get some good information uh on where the attack is going and what they're trying to do and trying to deny the attack information by destroying their drones those are the two key things that you want to do in the early round as solace
All right, so next up uh, for us now is how can we make plays and waste extra time using Solus' gadget as a roamer? So the big thing here, we kind of mentioned uh, how we can read the game early on in the last tip with uh, Solus and how we can sort of position ourselves for what we want to do later. That's really important as Solus. You don't want to be dying early. You want to be able to make an impact late because your gadget is so good at being able to read where a team is going. You're able to waste a lot of time because of it. So the main thing here is we can waste a lot of time not only just by destroying people's drones, but we can destroy people's flank cams. We can destroy nomad charges, and we can make plays off of that. We can impact below people while they're trying to clear. So I know this probably isn't the best example because I'm on cafe, and this would be the site. But if I'm somewhere, I'm trying to think, maybe like chalet, and I'm defending games, and I'm defending and dining. Maybe I impact someone trying to clear. They're going to have to try and deal with me. Another thing is people are going to see a solace under it. They're going to try and clear you. You need to be able to fall off and keep your life. Um, the big thing here is I'll be able to, like, let's say it's really late in the round, and I see somebody, or I see, uh, I see a Claymore, and my team really needs me to get back up and flank. Maybe my team's down a player or two, right? I'm able to do that. I'm able to destroy the Claymore, destroy the Nomad Charge, destroy the Flank Charge, and be able to get the flank off. But another thing I can do, let's say my team doesn't need a pick. Maybe my team's in the advantage, or it's even man count. Uh, something I can do is just destroy the flank drone. And what, what's going to happen after that is I can leave. They're not going to know I left. They're just going to see that I destroyed the flank drone. Or they're not going to, uh, you know, or they're not going to hear the Nomad Charge beeping anymore because you destroyed it or whatever it may be. And because I've done that, I don't necessarily have to flank. They're going to have to go and replace that utility. They're going to have to go and check again. Am I flanking? Do I need to place this Nomad Charge back on? I'm going to be able to delay that execute. Um... So the big thing to remember here is as a roamer, not just with Solus, you should really only be flanking it around if your team needs a kill. Because a lot of the time flanking in this game can be very risky. But that's two ways you can kind of handle the flanking with Solus. You can get aggressive if your team needs the picks and it's late on. And you can do it a lot better with Solus than you would with other operators because of her utility. Or you can just waste time and destroy the attacker's flank drones and, and really waste a lot of time that way. And just escape with your life. Another thing I like doing with Solus is if I see a solo roamer, let's say I'm on Skyscraper for or for this example, not roamer, sorry, attacker. Uh, for this example, I'm on Cafe. Maybe I see someone on this Repel. Maybe it's a Nomad. Maybe it's a Ash or whatever it may be, right? But for this example, let's say it's like someone with a Claymore or someone with Air Jabs, right? Like Nomad, um, right? I'll see them maybe on their cam here or I'll hear them on the window and I'll see their Claymore and... If I can kind of confirm that they're alone, what I can do from this point on is just something like this, right? And they're kind of already dead at that point. Or um, ideally, the door's already open. That's sort of the big thing there. Um, maybe the door isn't closed. And if that's the case, right, uh, we just have to impact once and we're out, right? We've destroyed, we destroyed the Nomad Charge. We've destroyed the the claymore, and we can we can make our play. That's sort of the big thing there. Um, the door should probably always be open, so you won't have to worry about that. Uh, windows, just make sure you prep your windows early on. They might want to jump out of, and just look for those like cheeky little jump outs when you can, um, because they're a lot less risky with Solus because you can get that intel off. Uh, just like if you played Valk before she got nerfed, you had a Valk cam outside. You could, you know, get a lot of free kills because you just knew what was going on. So if you can see those claymores, you can identify a solo attacker, destroy their flank watch, destroy their claymore, and get that free pick. Um, yeah, so those are two really big ways that we can waste time and make plays with Solus, right? By destroying flank cams as well as identifying solo attackers and getting those really easy run out kills. Okay, last tip with Solus here. Uh, is understanding the vertical aspect of her gadget. So specifically when denying a plant, uh, if we're under a site that has a soft floor, we can see, right? Again, I'm, I'm kind of just using Cafe as an example because it's really easy, but you can do this on a lot of maps um, and a lot of sites where, you know, if it's late on, like 20 seconds left, right? And I can see, you know, because one of the things you can see with this gadget is the diffuser. You can see the diffuser, right? While it's being planted and before it's being planted or, or after it's been planted, sorry. You can see the diffuser. I don't have impacts left because I'm on the same round as early from the last example. But if I see someone planting and I'm under, I can impact the planter and kill them, right? Impact the hole below them and shoot them. And 
get the defuse down, and if there's not enough time left, I can win the round off that. People have seen, uh, we you know, we we in Pro League have seen a lot of clutches because Solus has been under and we haven't been able to deal with her. It's the same thing as like Echo, right? Or just a regular C4 from below and you got a Cam or a Maestro. Most of the time, it's Echo is the common one that we see a lot. Echo concussing the defuse planter and getting them off and winning the round because of it. Solus is really great because you can kill the person, but it's also kind of sometimes harder to pull off. Another thing to remember, I kind of talked about earlier how the attacker see a Solus or any Roamer for that matter, and they're going to try and react to you and try and clear you. And that's why I said you need to try and fall off and stay alive for the late round. You don't want to be dying early. This is a big reason why, because if they know you're below as Solus, they are going to have to clear you. They're going to have to send a body there, which inadvertently is going to make it easier for the rest of your teammates on site to deny the execute in the first place. So really understand the Solus. You're going to be seen as a very high value target because everyone knows how good your gadget is. Everyone knows you can run out on them. Everyone knows you can destroy their flank cams. Everyone knows you can stop them from droning. Everyone knows you can stop them from planting. It's just like if you saw a pulse below, you're going to be like, we have to clear this pulse. It's the same thing, right? So please remember that as Solus, they're probably going to know you're here. Even if you destroy a lot of their cams, they're not dumb. If they know Solus is up, unless they really make a mistake. So while you're trying to make this play, really be weary of people are going to try and clear you. And that's why you want to try and do it as late as possible and why you don't want to die early. Um, again, as any roamer, it's important to not die early, which is a really forehead thing to say. But as Solus, you really want to keep that value so you can read the execute and create pressure on people trying to plant the bomb. So that's going to be all for today. I hope I helped you guys, and I hope you guys do a lot better with Solus now. And have a great day.